Hello guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So today we're going to see one more topic on plant breeding series that is inbreeding and inbreeding depression. So this is one of the easiest question or easiest topic to understand and you can easily secure 10 mark if they ask in any exams and also it is used in prelims as well. So guys, let's get started. So uh, first you just need to know what is inbreeding. So as the name itself suggests that breeding is going to take place inside a family that is called inbreeding. So uh, all the marriages that takes place within your family that comes under the term inbreeding. So similarly in plants it is nothing but it is a form of mating system in sexual organism where mating together of individuals that are very close to each other by either ancestral or pedigree relationship. So the main chief effect of inbreeding is to increase the homozygosity. So for example if you consider a family which is good at solving mathematics and uh, solving calculus, they want to retain that character for various generations to come. So what they do is they inbreed with their own family members so that that character, that talent of solving mathematics will remain to them alone. So this is why inbreeding is being done. So the same case is also applied to the plant. So in case if a, if a plant is very good at yielding a good amount of good sizable mangoes and they want to retain the same character for generations to come, they inbreed the mango plant with, the, with themselves that is within their field, the same plant. So this is, called as in, this is called as inbreeding and this is mainly to achieve homozygosity. Usually inbreeding is done in plants which undergo self-pollination uh, because in cross pollinated and asexually reproducing species they are highly heterozygous in nature so to achieve homozygosity is very very impossible in these plants okay so this is inbreeding and uh, what is the effect of inbreeding on the plants as well as other organisms so uh, we'll just go to the next thing although inbreeding has the various advantages of preserving a particular character it can be sometimes also very lethal that is it can decrease in the fitness and the vigor and it can also reduce or loss in the fertility of the organism too so this is the same case that is happening in the marriages too so can you uh, able to recall that when the marriages happens within the same family you could always see that the babies borning out of the consanguineous marriage are also born with some various birth defects so this depression is called as inbreeding depression. So although it is advantageous, it is also lethal in its own way. So the main impact of inbreeding is the loss of vigor and the physiological efficiency of the organism is also decreased. And also like inbreeding always results due to fixation of unfavorable recessive genes in the second filial generation or F2 generation. While in heterosis, the unfavorable recessive gene of one line are covered by favorable dominant genes of other parent. So can you see now why uh, cross pollination is always superior to self pollination? So because uh, even though if the defective recessive gene is present, it is covered up by the dominant, dominant gene. So that is why these plants are very much uh, advantages in various levels. So we'll just see what are the effects of inbreeding. So as I said earlier, there will be like reduced vigor and also like reduced reproductive ability that is reduced fertility and also there will be like reduction in yield also. So sometimes it may be form lethal or sublethal alleles also as I said earlier and uh, the separation of the population into distinct lines and also increase in homozygosity is one of the effect of inbreeding. So uh, homozygosity sometimes is a double-edged sword, it can be advantages as well. So there are like four kinds of degrees of inbreeding depression. So the classification is pretty simple that is high, moderate, low and absence of inbreeding depression. So based upon the degrees of the depression, so you can, you can actually have an idea of how the plant is going to survive the upcoming phase. So in case of high degree of inbreeding depression, a large proportion of the plants produced by selfing shows lethal characteristics and they do not survive. So if the mutation, that is if the inbreeding depression is high, the plants have a very less chance to survive. And also in case of moderate, there will be like substantial proportion of the population can be maintained under self-pollination. Whereas in low, only a small proportion of the plants which shows lethal or subvital characteristics and they can be survived easily. So the second point is the degree of inbreeding depression will also determine the yield capacity of the plant. So uh, when the degree is very high, the percentage of yield is less than 25%. So whereas in case of moderate inbreeding depression, the yield is lesser than 50%. And in low, there is like a 
no variation that is almost same or less similar to the open pollinated varieties so it's always better to know the examples so uh, the plants which undergoes high degree of depressions are alpha alpha carrot hayfield tarweed etc and for moderate depression it is seen in maize jowar and bajra and uh, in very low depression is seen in onion plants and many cucurbits rye and also sunflower that is helianthus hanus so the next thing is lack of inbreeding depression so a basic question if the plants are being self pollinated there is high chance of being inbred but in many cases this inbreeding phenomenon is not present so uh, as i said the self pollinated species do not show inbreeding depression although they do not show any heterosis also but how do they tackle this inbreeding depression so this is by they have developed a new mechanism that is mechanism of homozygous balance that is these plants will balance their homozygosity in their own plant so if you just quote this word alone you can easily get the mark that is homozygous plant homozygous balance so guys that puts end to today's topic so inbreeding depression and inbreeding is one of the easiest topic so once when you get the concept right you can almost write it on your own very easily and this is an a potential essay question like easily you can ask in a 10 mark question also so do focus on this so guys that puts end to today's topic so if you want more videos on any paper any particular topic do give your comments as your feedbacks and we will take care of it and also do subscribe to our channel if you haven't i'll see you in next lecture have an awesome week